Uh, okay. So, um, what would have happened? Let me just. I don't think I can check it out. I can probably can check it out. Uh, his, probably, his body's probably gone or something. But basically, what would have happened if Sunkin had won the fight? But I'm like, oh, I can't even go back inside. I'm a scrub lord, so I can't even do it. It's actually one of the most important moments in the whole game, and I guess it was optional. Um, well, not really important, most important, but it's very uh, important to the plot. Is um, if you win a Sunkin, you get the ability to shake Master Lee's will, and you can bind Death's hand to you, and that will allow Death's hand to spoilers, I guess, become the uh, the other party member. Or Sunkin, I think one of them is Sunkin, the other one's Death's Hand. And basically, if you bind Death's Hand, everybody except for Black Whirlwind... Everybody except for Black Whirlwind and Kang were like, that shit's... And I guess the kid. Yeah, and the kid. And it's like, that shit's messed up. Why would you bind a soul just like Master Lee? And they're like, oh, we don't like that. So you have to bind them to your will. And it's like a really, really red path, and it's a bad decision. Everyone's like, uh... But you get Death Hand as a party member, and he's like really, really powerful. And you can also use Death Hand style. Um, but I fucked up, so uh, I guess we won't be seeing that. Um, if you do do that, it's like a really big, like pivotal, like good versus evil kind of uh, choice in the matter. I think you can try to pass it off as benevolent, like like a necessary evil kind of thing, but it, the game still reads it as like you fucked up. Can I talk to you? So many changes. What Master Lee has done is unforgivable. Uh I have no doubt that there will be. It won't be perfect, I know. Will there be time for us? More than anything. I hope so. Man, you mo is fucked. Every day, uh -huh. There is a great deal of temptation ahead of you. I know you won't make the same mistakes your master did. Everyone will feel my wrath. I know ev Okay, so that wasn't really his is interesting. We are a long way from the farm I once called home. I never thought I like I team. such a jerk. It's pretty, uh, Your I don't know. Formidable it's, it's good, whatever. We cannot lead the Empire in his hand. Uh, I will this. I will this. And many of those who have fallen deserve to do so, but there will come a time when all the tyrants will be gone. Uh, yep. I okay. What do you say? I what do you got to say? Everything that I believe in torn apart one after another. Hopefully it is all over soon. The sins of my family must be dealt with. Only then can the Empire regain the glory it has lost. Uh, Everyone will spec- You know, there's, there, this is all like- It's weird that this is the top choice because usually the red palm choices are at the bottom. I will be ready. Uh, when? I do not really care for much what you two say. I tell you, I begin to miss the melodious voice of my wife. I look forward to the day when we can return to our simpler lives. Uh, hopefully we can all find well, a way. it will be easy for me. I just cock an ear to the wind and listen. Eventually the shouts of... <coughs> I hope everyone has... You know, honestly, as much as I like the fact that he's a drunken master and that he's got some funny jokes, he honestly talks way too much about his wife. It's kind of like gets repetitive after a while. How are you doing? Hello again. Oh. Uh... I'm better now. Put the other back down in a place where he can't hurt me anymore. And I'll never forget it, no matter what. If things here, if they turn out well, I hope someday when I'm older, we can meet and be friends again. Okay, I thought the I line was gonna to go to into like some weird like she's attracted to me BS. And the other two will be it'll be the guy my house go with him. Uh Chai Ka. Whatever. Uh what do you got to say, drunk man? Before the storm. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a. Stick in the eye of this little... Oh yeah, let's go. Fine. <laughs> He's the one that's like, hey, can you like stop? That's not say, hey, let's go. Oh, I think they know you already. We'll have to see if you are worthy of that game. All right. Onwards and upwards to the final segment of the game, and uh, I'm actually glad I'm kind of coming to the end here. Thought I'd never finish this, to be honest, out of the way I was, like, the scheduling of this recording. I mean, of this LP. Wow, you actually get a shot at the cockpit! You usually do not see that. I forgot all about this. It's like that thing where it's like, um... In games... Games that you remember... You remember the beginning up until the, the beginning of the middle. And then you forget, like, everything before the ending, but you remember the ending. Usually, anyways. Ugh. 
And they just let us come back once again unopposed. I don't know how, but whatever. You would have think like there would be some kind of big, uh, you know, lock S foils and attack positions for approaching that Death Star kind of thing. Here we are again. Well, here we are. I hoped I wouldn't have to use this entrance again. But we did. I doubt this visit will be any less violent than the last. Uh. Yeah, I'm staying here. A startling revelation from Kang. Uh huh. I expect there will already be enough chaos to go around without your talents. Here we go. Trust your voice. We need a path we must. Trust what you see. Voices can come from anywhere. Whatever we are doing, we. Uh huh. Uh, let's go. This is going to be a mess. Huh. Interesting. I thought we were gonna get that later, but maybe. Oh wait, maybe if I talk to her now. Oh wait, I'm wait why am I with Stealth Fox? Hold on, I have to wait for this the little girl to stop walking, and then I can talk to the little girl. She has the same female animation. Wow, that's a little bit weird. Okay, so never mind. Um, I'm not gonna unless I get up to it. I'm not gonna talk about what I'm thinking about with her. Uh, what am I, uh is there anything to level up? Nothing really crazy. I, I guess this, but this stuff's already like maxed out almost. None of the really debilitations work on Master Lee, which is all spoilers, is the final boss, so I mean... Um, I guess that's kind of spoilers, though, if you think about it, like, as in, like, might as well do that. That's a little bit bugging me that it's not maxed out, actually. <laughs> um, give me that, I guess. And then Death and Agony. Oh. Yeah, I have been using it. I'll use it for once. Um, Hazel Spirit Fonts, that's kind of annoying. Also, give me give me Dawnstar. I am honored that you have yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I mean, and that will never get over that. Um, so wow, I thought we were, they were going to take us back to the Jade Empire, like the, the Imperial City and all that. Like I was going to be able to do some more side quests and whatever. But um, this game is not as open world as it would let you believe. Let me see, actually, can I go uh, Can I go talk to Kang and be like, can I go somewhere else? Also, where's the dragonfly? Oh my god, you can't even see the dragonfly. It's not even in the hangar. Wow, lazy developers, lol. Um... Okay, never mind. Um, so wow, you're locked out. This is a point of no return. Um, cause I thought, cause I'm, I know for sure that you can fly it around to the other places of the game, but most just between Tien's Landing and the Imperial City. You can't really, uh, go anywhere else, whatever. So this game, you know, even though it's an RPG, um, it, and RPGs of this time tend to be open world, it's, this is a pretty linear game. It's like, you know, ooh, wow, you, there are a lot of you guys. Um, so maybe we should do this. Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Okay, wreck, 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 wreck. Okay, yeah, let's try double axes, though! Death and agony. Behold, the power of Ginli! Times two! Uh, I'm never really gonna get over that, that weird Chinese speak. Uh, the weird, uh, not Chinese speak, the, uh, B, China, the Kung Fu B movie kind of thing. Also, these guys are, uh, taking a while to die. So I'm just gonna, I guess I'll just cut them up. Cut them up, cut them up, cut them up. Um, keep forgetting what I was talking about. But yeah, this game is pretty linear. Like, once you finish, like, side quests, like, you have to kill all the mobs in an area. It's not like they respawn. It's like, every encounter, as far as I know, is scripted. There's no, like, random encounters. So this game is not really, like, gonna last you very long. Like I said, it's a pretty short, uh, I've mentioned before, it's a pretty short, uh, RPG. And it's kind of sad that it's short, like... Honestly, I feel like there could have been more with it, and I'm talking like I've beaten the game. Like I'm at the, like there's something I should talk about as I'm watching the credits, which I probably should save it for that. But I mean, as I'm just beating up these jobbers, I guess it's something to talk about because we've seen me, you've seen me beat up these jobbers plenty of times before. Oh wait, what style? What could I possibly? That's razor. What the hell's that? Oh hey, that's hand. I don't know why I can use this now. But, uh, I guess I have it. Yeah, so I guess I have that now. Which, I leveled up as well? No. I thought I did. Oh, I got a bunch of style points. I might as well, uh... Might as well, right? Why not? Speed increase. Why not? And let's let's map this to, like, 5 or something. Let's just try it out or something. Um, uh, so many styles. Uh, great use... The grid mod is pretty nice, and it gives you all this diversity of styles. But once again, um... The, the main game, actually, you get a lot less, like, a lot less style points. Um, and the, the reason why you get a ton in this mod is to compensate for the fact that you're going to get a lot more styles. Because the game, in the, you know, the vanilla game, it wants you to, 
Oh, hello again. You have come. Thanks. Destiny set yeah, I know. This moment in motion, but from here, your choices are your own to make. Right, yeah, free will and all that. Nietzsche. You, but he is not yet aware. Okay. Uh... You have time to alter things to your favor. You have time to set us all on the path to rebirth. That's some Buddhist stuff talking about. Learn what has come before and you will understand what my Spirits know many things. Uh, and take someone with you. But whoever you leave behind should take another route. That way they don't get behind you and we'll all get equal fight. You don't know the palace. You will wander aimlessly. It's weird how Black Rome was the one to initiate that conversation. And I always find my way. Besides, we've been here before. Yeah, she makes a good point. Kind of. Uh, every this find your way best you can. Fighting in the heart of the palace. I never thought I would visit, and now I'm storming its walls for the second time. It is not a task I wanted, but we have no choice. Right. So who's who's gonna go and who's gonna stay? And so I guess everybody but the person I have with me right now. Yeah, that's what I figured. And then, yep, that's what I thought. Boop. I do like those cloth physics. You know what makes a game look great? Cloth physics, like Dark Souls 2. Like, even though there are parts of Dark Souls 2 that's like, oh man, the lighting engine sucks now because of the downgrade, whatever. Oh, I did level up. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Can, you know, can never get enough of that focus. Um, like the cloth physics and the, game, the way the capes move and everything. Oh man, something about a cape, you know, like Batman standing on top of a skyscraper and just like looking out onto the Gotham City with the wind billowing his cape. Looks pretty nice. The tombs of the greatest emperors. Here the empire was built. It was gutted to allow the flow. To guide the water that pours from a crime against the heavens and the order. Such disrespect. <laughs> <This is laughs> I feel like that could be of like a, a reaction line in a YouTube video. Whatever. Um, hope is there for the future when the past is cast so roughly aside. History. The study of not history, but events that people will eventually repeat. Whatever. That's what they tell. That's what they tell us in the history. Uh. What is this done? Okay. The living are the victims. If this is how the past is treated, what can you expect for the future? I see. Everything is someone or something's past. This is why mortals cannot wield the power of the gods. They cannot see the complexity of the world. Yeah. That's why it's like, you know, some people are like making the logic arguments about what if... Okay, this is gonna get deep, but like, you know, how can God exist? If he's trying to like, how how is omnipotence even a thing? How can you really manage everything at once? It's it's very difficult for a human to comprehend. It's like in physics, like you're supposed to comprehend how his atom is structured, and it's like the way we model it is the way we would understand it. But that's not actually how it's modeled. It's just in the way that makes sim sim the the way that makes sense to us. So it's like if a god is literally another being, then I guess they can have multiple thoughts at the same time like they can see emit like a thousand things more than a thousand things at once it's just like something we can't comprehend like it goes beyond our logic because it's like so far alien from us whatever deep you know today we are pepper philosopher beef too spicy i guess For some things this is true whatever let's Doesn't talk about socrates and aristotle or machiavelli i want to talk about that john locke made here. or maybe like fucking Emperor's son would What's his not name? accept that his empire had Adam Smith, so that something the wealth of nations. <laughs> he declared war as if the drought was an advancing army. Thanks. He and the glorious strategist focused Maybe some him. Freud. Oh, he's not really a Autodidact. philosopher, though. I symbolized the fading they wanted to avoid and the regrowth they desperately needed. So they were the, the whole theme is just that the emperor's brothers the and the emperor to wanted to... Stop the natural flow of the order and disrupt it, and then it's a temporary fix, but it's eventually going to destroy the world. You must see it with your own eyes. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. That's basically what she was saying. Is like, you know, despite me talking over her dialogue like an asshole, I know what she's saying. She's basically saying because of the way they've treated her, they've created a temporary fix, but eventually the world's going to fly with spirits, and that mortals cannot comprehend the power of gods, and they'll misuse it wrong. Rip. Shenlong has uh, seen better days. Uh, 
You know, we really need to collect the Dragon Balls this time. Uh... This cannot be. How can yeah, well... What have they done to this creature? Behold. Words would not have sufficed. You had to see with your own eyes to truly know my fate. This cannot continue. Ah, she's had more, like, emotion in that line than any of others. Show them that such things will not go unpunished. Double sabers. Double sabers. Lotus Elite, more like Lotus Trash tier. Get out of here, Sergeant Hammer. <laughs> I don't know why I call this Sergeant Hammer. Uh, get out of here, uh, Natalie Portman in FIFA Vendetta. That wasn't even Natalie Portman, I bet. It was somebody else. God damn it. Uh, heal me, by the way. Thanks. Oh. Don't like the whole Tempest spam. Can you, uh, stop that? Oh, they just dodge roll out of my area attack? It's not fair. Um. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um. You know, honestly, this actually reminds me a lot of, like, that Jet Li movie. Where it's, like, it's about him and this brother and their Shaolin monks. And then they grow up and the one of them becomes, like, a political... Like a rebel against the tyrannical empire, and the other one becomes like the emperor's bodyguard. And it's a really good movie. And there's like this one really cool scene where, um, like all the heroes, like the group of like, like the fellowship of the ring, like they're all really skilled, like single martial artists fight the entire imperial army, and they they uh, they all start losing one by one. And it's like this really really cool scene where it's like you know, despite how good these guys are, they're only good as like 50 people. This Not like 60 or whatever. Yep. It is an agony that you cannot fathom. To have fallen. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, everyone came here. Thanks. By all the heavens. This this is not right. Gods gods do not bleed. Well, depends on your, your definition of God. Give us great dragon. Our mortal men are ignorant, foolish, unkind. These crimes will not go unanswered. How come I I don't know, I didn't really never seen such a crime against the proper order of things. Every freedom I cherish is violated by this. Uh-huh. You small creatures. You heard the sounds of battle, but are you your master? We know. This is why Water flows from the wound that will not heal in the body that cannot die. Part of me functions as an aspect of our... It was never meant to flow free. It is not infinite. The Jade Empire is green. Oh, so I didn't actually know that. Go thirsty. So basically they're taking water from other places in the world. Solved. The problem was merely pushed onto someone else's plate. Yeah, it's like I said, temporary fix. Uh... You are a spirit monk, charged with guarding. I cannot be healed. My body has been cut open. My heart removed. Rebirth can only come when my essence is free. To defeat your master, you must stop the power he draws from me. Soon he will be too strong, even for you. I wonder how they actually even captured the water dragon in the first place. Was it because they took her heart at Dirge, I guess? But like, where did they find her? Was she just like hanging around? They just put a giant net over her? And just like she's like, nah, it's just like it's like a fish squirming in the water, or like when they use the big ass fishing boats. Uh, I will. Your master abuses the amulet he took from you. His brother did not have that luxury, so he needed to draw my essence slowly. Your master does not have to be so cautious. He partakes of energy that mortals. Re yes, we know he's a god. Destroy the source of that power. So I gotta kill you. Could I control that power too? So this is one of the big moral choices that Bioware games that have moral choices are fans. It's a big fan of. It's like at uh, end game level, you can make like a really good or a good slash neutral or like a super evil decision. And the other evil decision here, which I will not do, is to taint the blood with your own blood, and then you like take control of the water dragon's power, and then you become an evil asshole. And everybody's like. That's dick move. We're gonna kill you, Spirit Monk, and then you kill like 80% of your party members, except for except for your love interest, who will support you if you made her or him close palm, and Black Roland. Everybody else you kill them. <laughs> yeah, even Headpeck Tal, like you killed them. It's it's crazy. It's like a mini boss fight. 
There is no other decision to make. A good step toward rectifying this desecration. There was no other reasonable response to such an abomination. Right. Then let it be so. Take hold of a blade. The great wheel must turn. Lannister, Stark, Baratheon. They're all just names on a wheel. I'm not going to stop the wheel, I'm gonna destroy it. Uh well my clock, you're so hot. Yeah, okay. It's it's actually a really really depressing scene if you choose the bad guy option, because then this is the same cutscene where she goes back into her body and she looks super depressed, like super sad that she's like failed in trying to save the world, whatever, because she's like helpless and she's like played all her cards and she knows that she's gonna lose. It's super depressing. It's one of those things where it's like. If you, unless you like completely remove yourself from the game, like you can't really bring yourself to do it unless you're just like, ah, I don't care. But if you were thinking about it as real, it's just like, uh, it's a super dick move. Kind of symbolic that you were doing stuff with a dragon and then I got the dragon tattoo. Oh, and I wanted to mention that, um, oh, and then he's going to be like, what? Nice pose, by the way. Why are you in your armor all the time, though? Like, wait, what? Ah! Yeah, mad. Time. You must okay. Oh, the open palm. Is that a gem? Or is that a technique? Oh, it's a gem. Okay. Oh, uh, spirit plus 10, mine plus 5. In accordance with one uh, ultimate harmony. Oh, so I guess I don't think I get this here. I think I get this once I have done, like, maxed out open palm. I think I'm maxed out, right? Yeah, I'm maxed out. So you get that once you're maxed out. Um, I guess we can get rid of something shitty like this. We're not going to talk to anybody anymore, so give me that. Um, I didn't really think this was that gruesome of a scene. I know all the party members are like, holy shit, that's horrible. But honestly, I don't think the technology was up to the time to make it look really that horrific. Because honestly, it just looked like a giant water slide to me. Now, I know that sounds, like, really disrespectful to the water dragon, but I don't know, it's the big, big head is a little bit too big, and, uh, that's... It just didn't have an emotional effect on me. At least seeing the corpse, anyways, or the body. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? This is nearly overwhelming. Okay. Yes, your master. He made this possible. We have to try. We will try. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of cutting their dialogue in half, and I apologize. I just really want to get to the final boss. But, you know, it's not like they're saying anything new. Oh, no. More bald dudes. There are others here who may wish to express a preference in this matter. Hold them while Dawnstar and I confront Lee. I will try. I have to. Um, I don't think we figured this out. Yeah, we probably didn't figure this out because we didn't talk to Sagacious Suzu enough, but... Spoilers! Dawnstar is Master Lee's child. Boom. I mean, it was kind of implied heavily in the backstory, but I guess I never pressed the plot enough to that you do find out that she's Master Lee's kid. It's just kind of... there, And it does affect the plot a lot if you confront Master Lee here while Dawnstar knows that she's his daughter. Which would make Dawn stop, which would make Kill Fox her cousin, which is interesting. I guess that's why they're all hot. They share good genes. They share that royal blood. Whatever. Yeah, time to fight Wang Jin Rei, the true evil. Ah, or Jin Pachi, hey. whatever. I knew you would come, and I have grown very good at waiting. I wish I was good at waiting. Different from the student I once taught. Death changed you, I imagine. Eh, zombies. I apologize for that indignity, but it was necessary. It was also meant to be the end of you, but you surprised me again. I should have studied your people before wiping them out. Nice line. And so, I did my best. I made you strong enough to achieve your destiny, but with a weakness I could exploit. I thought I anticipated everything, but you proved me wrong. Once more, you try to restore me. My lost family was just one more tool. And there you go. More than that. 
I would have been present when they fell. He's just like, I'm a dick. Tell me, what use are heirs to a god? I will set the Empire on a path of never-ending stability and glory. I am beyond the... I will undo the damage of his ignorance. Force the dead to their rest. You can't do that, keep though. keep the waters flowing. My empire will be ordered, obedient, and neither ghosts nor gods will plague it. And you are all that stands between me and the new peace. My brother summoned underlings to defeat you. I will create them from the very stone. Yeah, well, why don't you just fight me yourself, pussy? Ha ha ha! Oh yeah, these guys are actually kind of tough, if I recall. Uh, bull demons. Not a fan. Not a, not a fan. Somehow manages to make a noise even though it's made out of stone. Okay, so how do we do this? You won't see me coming! Okay. Oh, you have to try that death hand thing. Forgot about that. Ooh, actually does quite a bit, but it's a bit slow. Um... Okay, wait a second. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut you up though. Cut you up, cut you up, cut you up. Oh, Dunstar, you're not actually doing much here because you can only, um, give me chi. I actually someone need to restore my focus, but I don't think anybody can actually do that. Unfortunately. Whatever. Boom, 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 boom! Cut you up, cut you up, cut you up! You know, it's like the stupid, uh, gecko or whatever they're called. The, the 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 mini metal gears, not the mini metal gears, but the uh, the unmanned robots in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. The I forget what they're called, but they make that n that cow noise, and it's just like it's another one of Kojima's weird ass like stylistic choices. Like I'm gonna make them make cow noises, and it's like the first cutscene they're introduced. All the soldiers are like, huh, cow noises? What's that? And then they all get killed. Whatever. It's like so I think it's supposed to imply that like they have minds of their own and then they just like they're like they're they're basically animals in robot form except they look nothing like cows whatever i don't know it's, it's weird whatever almost over i don't think there's anything left in the empire for us to battle through thank you for telling me that i'm at the final boss Star. an impressive display your star shines bright but it is still trapped within a mortal body Perhaps a more direct application of my power will show you what you are up against. Oh no, dick move. That is and pretty just broken. How restrictive your shell truly is. Yes, this will amuse me. Worse than actually dying. Seeing death come and being unable to stop it. Ooh, that's pretty good. Actually. One of like the worst things possible to happen to you is if you lose your senses. Well, sight and sound. You can still feel. But and then you just you're still alive. Physical barriers are you just die. Just dying sleep. slowly while you're aware of it, or while you can't it. see anything or hear anything. Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. Like being trapped in a void and being aware of it. You and your followers are playthings. The rest are held just as you are. You are each too weak to match my power. I forgot about this segment actually, and I was thinking about it earlier before I started this recording. I forgot this was gonna happen. Oh, is that that's hand. Oh, Chai Ka, thanks. What the hell is going on? Yes. Well said. Exactly. Uh. Thanks. Oh yeah, no, they fight the other through. I guess. Oh, even the Hunpecked Tao is gonna fight one of them. Doubt. Oh no. Um, I think this is a really hard fight. Of course, if you uh, chose the close fist pass, because if you chose the close fist, that you literally have to kill all of them. Um, what you calls it? I mean, you you kill off your party members, so you have to fight all three of these guys, all four of these guys on your own. Uh, I think with the exception of Black Roland, who only takes away one. There was supposed to be a cutscene where uh, Chai Ka fights Ya Zen, but I guess it didn't show up. My talons huh. are deep within you. More of them, huh? And then, of course, we're gonna do the same thing with more party members. 
Dawnstar, Silkfox guy, the more important ones. More fools leap to your defense, but no matter. The weight of my power will crush you soon enough. Uh-huh. Uh... I am with you. We haven't come this far to fail now. Well, why is your cheeks red? It's like she got beat up or something. I understand. Not when so much is at stake. Ooh, I like making that pose in real life. It stretches out your arms very really nicely. Just yet. Uh huh. Very motivational speeches. Now go run into them and do a kamikaze. Yes. Okay. Now you. Boom. Oh, okay. That's new. Wait a second. If you're immune to gunshots, can you immune to swords? Oh, that you are. Okay. 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 We don't have. We don't need swords. We don't. We don't need any of that. We don't. We don't need that. I could beat you with the low tier. That's okay. I could beat you with. Uh, I can beat you with Captain Falcon and Brawl. It's all right. No problem. Beat you with Dr. B. Actually, uh, you, a lot of people can lose with Dr. B because like, he's the least used character in the whole game, I think. Maybe it's like it's unknown. Unknown's pretty unused a lot in Tekken Tag 2. I go up to the pillar, maybe? Yeah. Your efforts are meaningless. Do you think to counter my influence by yourself? A god holds you. Nothing in the mortal realm can help you. Nothing. I'm just picturing him being giant and like gripping me in his hand. Oh hey, how's it going? Haven't seen you in a while. Dunna. Hidden, trying to keep focus. I give you all that I am, all that I was. Restore what has been corrupted. And if you choose the red path or the closest palm pass, he's still there. But he says like, oh, I'm helping you because you might become a tyrant, but Master Lee's definitely a tyrant. So I think I'll help out the lesser of two evils. I guess that's what he says. Oh no, Master Lee is pissed. He used a, a, a full heal, whatever. Seeing that was in the trailer. Nice. Once again, I misunderstand. The raw energy, you are far too resistant to it. Can we the stop talking? You inspire is also tiresome, but I respect it. You have truly become a spirit monk. In another time, I would be proud of your ability. And now I'm just pissed by it. <laughs> I am not satisfied with helping others surpass me. I quickly tired of elevating my brother, and I will not learn to serve you. Holy shit, this guy's arrogant. I see now that the water dragon's power is the prize, not the means to victory. No matter what I expend, while you live, you will resist. That is your role. It is the celestial bureaucracy attempting to restore balance. We must bring the fight back down to Earth, unless... You are made to see the reason. So it's a very, there's a, of course, a very overarching theme of, uh, eh, happy, of, uh, balance versus man's ability to control nature. Very, like, industrial age, we're manipulating the natural world to dominate it by technology and harvesting the world and optimizing rate versus, like, we got, we're part of nature, we should respect it and give it its space. You know, very green thumb, hippie, tree hugging kind of argument. Uh, this is a third ending, which I'm not gonna do because it's bullshit, but nope. No great waves of energy, no demons from the walls. Skill versus skill, master versus student, as you said. I expect you have corrected the flaw in your style. No matter. Beyond the basics, I you mean you the flaw as in I'm gonna use my gun? Touch me if you can. So here we go, the final boss fight against Master Lee. Um... I'm gonna pause for a second, I wanna explain the other ending, cause I, I wanna, wait a second, can I pause? Is it enter? Oh, there we go. So, the other ending is if you click I'm listening, he basically says like, uh, oh wow, oh wow, I didn't know you could do that. Um, if, uh, I'm going to kill you, but I will make sure that you are remembered forever as a great hero who inspired the change of everything. So basically, he makes you into a martyr that saved the world, like, you'll take all the credit for all the change that Master Lee's gonna bring. Uh, but then it implies that Master Lee's still gonna ruin the world. It's just like, you die as a martyr. In case you believe what he says, that he's gonna really make the world better, that kind of thing. It's like, uh, if you truly believe them, and then it's like, you have to die to make him successful or whatever. Basically, if you're weak-willed. If you honestly, honestly, gullibly believe that he can make the world better. 
Um, then you take that ending, and it's like a shitty ending because you don't even have a boss fight. You just you just let him kill you, and then you see a statue with like two kids, and like ah, uh, you were great. And then Master Lee is like creepy smile, whatever. Okay, whatever, Master Lee. Here's a gun. Oh wow, they did nothing to you. So yeah, it's a gun. Gun. Ah. Wait, where's Dawnstar? Oh no, no Dawnstar. Oh. Can I mash out of this or something? Can I mash out of this? Holy shit, can I mash out of this? Oh my god. Okay, okay, first... Can I knock you on your ass? Can I power your lives and palm you? I wonder. Oh, you can, okay. Okay, so... Still trying to beat you, trying to legit. But let's see if I can, uh... Oh yeah, he can use focus mode as well. As far as I know. Because sometimes he does focus attack. But, uh, I can just spam this, it seems. There we go. I'm not sure if he's gonna have a second phase. I don't think so. Oh, Blizzard. <laughs> Why not? Ding! At the end of the game. That'd be funny if it, like, breaks the game by doing that. Oh, wait. Did I just skip past the ending cutscene? Oh my god, did I? Jade Master Mode? Hold on a second. Oh my god, did I skip the ending cutscene? That might have errored it. Because you're not supposed to see this until you see the ending cutscene. Uh... Well, I, I guess we'll see the, e the, the epilogue. This is all the character epilogues. I, I guess. And there's supposed to be music here. Oh man, this aired super hard. Uh... Hmm... Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Um, you surprise me yet again. <coughs> I'm a better teacher than I thought. Aw, I would have loved to just hit him one more time. Oh, and then he... Boy, that's an angry face. That is some Bruce Lee face right there. Hey, isn't that that girl that I didn't do the side quest for? <laughs> Wait. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be more than- Oh my god, it's like playing all the cutscenes out of order. Wow, he messed up super hard! Maybe I'll edit in what was supposed to happen, but basically the ending cutscene is you're supposed to see the main character walk down a pair of steps with your party members next to you and everybody's cheering, whatever. Um, so that's Jade Empire. I guess the epilogue, which I guess I'm not going to read because they're all there. It's Well, basically, as far as I know, um, Dawnstar and you, you s settle down in a small town and you're like, Hey, everybody. It's basically a happy life after for both of you. And they're happy, whatever. Uh, Silk Fox, she becomes the Empress and then she's... Uh, very benevolent, and she's nice, and everything's great. Um, Henpeck Tao, he goes back home, and his wife's there, and they have a bunch of kids. And then he gets a new job as a delivery guy. And then he just, he basically runs away from his wife again. It's just, I don't think you can change that ending at all. It's just default, unless you kill him. <laughs> Black Rowan, he does the same to shit. He's wandering around as mercenary. Sky, he just goes back to his village, and he finds new peace. And then Kang is like, I'm building shit. Whatever. And then, um, Wildflower, the Guardian, leaves her, but in return for being the host, she he gives her life. So she stops being a zombie, and she, uh, becomes a lone little girl, and she starts aging normally. Whatever. Um, and that's Jade Empire. Like I said, very short game for an RPG, anyways. Like, it's, a, it's an RPG length, but it's still pretty short. Um, the combat is a little bit repetitive, but it does have fun animations, and it is fun to hit people around. Um, a lot of reuse animation in this game, like, it's very, uh, bare bones, like, there's a lot of, um... Not very a lot of unique assets, like, the set pieces aren't as great. Um, 
But, you know, for, for something of its period, like 2004 or 2003? 2004. It's uh, pretty good. I, w I wouldn't want to say it. it's like a good staple game of the era. Like, I think it made a good impression on Fantasy China. Even though, like, you know, there's a lot of anachronistic things. Like, certain things are emblematic of, like, ancient China. And certain things are emblematic of, like, Renaissance era. Like, like uh, 1500, 1400 China. Um, it, it goes back and forth. But, you know, at the same time, it captures the whole um, China, like, like, mythical China aesthetic really, really well. Um, I think it could have been longer. There could have been more development with all the characters, not just like Dawn Star, Silk Fox, and Sky. Oh, Paul Eiding was in this game. Who's Paul Eiding? Paul Eiding is a uh, fucking Colonel Campbell or whatever. And it just stops there at the. Oh, Robert Atkin Dows. Hey, that's a uh, Kazuhiro Miller, as among other things. Huh. Uh, well, special thanks, whatever. I don't know why they. Oh, 2000. Oh, well. 2007 must be the Steam version, the current version, whatever, because I know Jade Empire got released again in, like, a director's cut kind of thing. And that must have been the director's cut was 2007. Oh! Oh, there we go! It's playing all the cutscenes properly! Nice! Oh my god, maybe we'll see it after all. Thanks, Steam, or the mod, whichever one broke it. Thanks. And she goes back to being... The celestial thing, whatever, I guess. There's the cutscene I'm waiting for. Fucking so Fox is so hot. <laughs> see, the weird thing is, I don't see why everyone's cheering, because kind of our, our struggle was kind of like a... Nobody was really knowing what we were doing, I guess. Unless everybody knew that, like, the Lotus Assassins were bad and we killed all of them, I guess. Is he gonna show us the epilogues again? No? Um... In the bad ending, you basically, uh... Take Master Lee's power and then you do that again, except instead of a bunch of people... It's, um... It's all Lotus Assassins and then they all start bowing to you and then you have, like, this angry face. <laughs> And you're like, ah, I am evil. Whatever. Um, and then it's like a bad day. You get get a blog and it's like, you are a tyrant and you rule the world. But the Jade Empire was peaceful and like it all flourished. But you were like a tyrant. And then if you do the the bad romance or I guess the evil romance for any of the characters. Like Dawnstar is like the empress and she's like a bitch. And Silk Fox is like, uh, uses her Silk Foxness to cut down dissenters and stuff and it's it's bad it's bad news bears it's like everyone's aggressive and evil it's it's interesting um if you want to go down that path i like i said many times throughout this lp the, the the closed fist mechanic was not very implemented well to show um action over diplomacy and it was more shown to show pretty much just evil acts or like acts of douchebaggery to show um badness whatever i actually would have liked to see more tau or rather Taoism, whatever you want to call it, uh, philosophy in this game, because that's really central to, like, ancient Chinese uh, uh, beliefs and Confucianism. And Well, I guess there is a lot of a usage of respect for your ancestor. That's a big theme in this game, which is a very, very Chinese theme, as China doesn't really have an official religion. In fact, most Chinese, um, at least mainland Chinese, are kind of atheist. Although a lot of them practice ancestor worship for a very, 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 very long time, as far as I know. And that's still very, very, very important in Chinese culture and tradition today. So, and it did play an important role in this game because it's all about the dead and the cycles and celestial bureaucracy and like uh, paying respect to the past and all that stuff. Uh, but that was Jade Empire. Um, the only kung fu ch RPG, or at least like Chinese mythology RPG that I know of. Unless if there's a better one, please tell me. Because I'll definitely play that. But as far as I know, this is the most developed one. And it's sad because, you know, outside of Dynasty Warriors, you don't get much insight into Chinese mythology in video games. Um, and this is one of the few... This game in Jade Empire, and I can't really think of any other ones that really do it well. There's a bunch of Japanese uh, folklore and uh, tradition and mythology games. A ton of those, but not many Chinese ones. And it's kind of... It's kind of disappointing that this genre is very, uh, uh, or rather this setting is very slept on. I think uh, it could do more. Well, I guess Mortal Kombat, in a sense, definitely has a lot more Chinese influences than it does 
Japanese. Well, I guess there's a lot of American influences there because I guess it's like American take on Chinese mythology. Whatever. This is also, this game is also North American. It's Western, I guess. It's Bioware is a Canadian company, but that doesn't really change anything. Oh, those are your Empire. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy LP. Uh, see you later.